Hey guys, uh, this is my Cold Steel SRK, the black AUS-8 version. Um, I posted a video about this, oh, I think back in December or January. Uh, I'd been doing some work with it, some chopping, and it was experiencing some rather anomalous performance. It actually sustained some chips and some rather heavy rolls uh, just chopping green wood, but I sharpened those out put about a 15 degree, ed 15 degree per side edge on it and uh, gave it a DMT 1200 grit finish and uh, unfortunately since then I really haven't had any opportunity to use this. Uh, it kind of been too cold and I didn't really feel like going outside and hacking at stuff with this. I live in an urban area so you know that's kind of takes some dedicated effort to do and uh, being back here at school, you know, college campus really doesn't give a whole lot of opportunity to use a sharpened pry bar like this. So this evening I cut up some cardboard. It was a Coca-Cola box. Uh, basically just to gauge the ergonomics of this knife. I hadn't really done any, uh, oh, I don't know, stock cutting with it. And uh, actually surprised me. It was a pretty pleasant knife to use. Uh, just some basic ergonomics. It's got the crate and handle on it. Quite comfortable. Affords a lot of grip. Not gonna, you're not going to worry about it falling out of your hand. At the same time, it's not really all that that all that abrasive that it would bother you. Uh, I can get a nice hammer grip on it. Sort of a saber. And the main when I was doing most of the cutting, I had my index finger here wrapped up around the unsharpened portion of the blade. Uh, in general, quite comfortable to use, and I think the fact that I reprofiled it probably helped a lot too in making it cut better. But uh, quite a pleasant knife to use. It performed like good AUS-8 should. It was nice and sharp when I started, and if I can set this up here, kind of hard to cut with one hand. We'll see. I guess, uh, right here. Yep. So nice if I can try to do this. Yep. Nice and sharp. May not seem like it, but that's more my fault trying to film this. There's one or two little, uh, parts of the edge which are reflecting light, but Nothing you can't just power through if you had to. Very sharp. So, in general, this is still seeming to be a good knife. I think whatever the steel problem, whatever was going on with the edge, I've sharpened that out. And it seems to be performing well. Uh, so, yeah, just a brief updated commentary on the Cold Steel SRK. Uh, oh, yeah, another thing my camera here. Um, over spring break, about a week or so ago, I actually carried this knife quite a bit, uh, <clears throat> just sort of because I was bored and I could. And I carried this out in public a few times, and really using the method of carry I use, no one cared at all. Um, I actually have this mounted as high as it can on the sheath, so it kind of rides on my thigh and use a leg tie down, a paracord, to keep it nice and conformal to the body and it was really quite comfortable to wander around pretty much all day wearing this I've gone out in the woods with the same arrangement and had no problems with it snagging on stuff it stays nice and secure it doesn't whack up against things um, retention is very good it's the cold steel secure X or whatever sheath I haven't any problems with this particular sheath dulling the edge it will if you uh, cut into it but just on a draw that se doesn't seem to have been a problem that has been a problem with my cold seal Kobun but uh, this sheath is seems to be one of the good ones and no real concerns about durability here it's holding up just fine um, one final thing about the knife the Creighton is starting to show if it'll focus come on yeah it's starting to show some wear up here from the sheath but uh 
unfortunately that's just one of the one of the things that will happen when you use hard rubber as a knife handle material so we'll see about the long-term durability but at the moment it's fine so yeah we'll see how this knife continues to perform in the future thank you very much for watching